Hi, I'm Kristen Amdahl and welcome back to my studio. In this video, I want to show you some tips and tricks for getting started making one of the projects from my brand new book, 24 Crochet Hats, Interesting Techniques and Inclusive Sizing for Men, Women, Children, and Babies. Let's get started. These are the Abigail Mommy and Me hats. These beautiful hats are simple to make and coordinate well together. Each one is made in a different weight yarn with a different gauge. They make an adorable Mommy and Me gift set, but are great as standalone hats too. To make the baby hat, you will need one ball of Beso Baby yarn in a size F5 crochet hook, and to make the larger adult version, you will need Be So Tender yarn and a J10 or 6 millimeter crochet hook. I'll be showing you how to make the baby hat in this tutorial. This hat is a top-down construction, and it begins with the crown. We start by tying our yarn to our crochet hook. You may tie your knot in any way that works for you. I like a square knot, and we're going to start with a chain five. Slip stitch to the fifth chain from your hook to form a ring. Round one begins with a chain six, which counts as a double crochet chain three. Then in the ring, you're going to work double crochet chain three seven times. A double crochet is yarn over your hook. Insert your hook in the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and chain Three. You want to work double crochet in the ring chain three seven times, then slip stitch to the third chain of the beginning chain six to join. The end of round one, you should have eight chain three spaces. Round two begins with a chain one and single crochet in the same stitch. Then in the next double crochet, we're going to work three double crochet, chain five, three double crochet. That's three double crochet. chain five, and three double crochets all in that same stitch. And then single crochet in the next double crochet. So our repeat for this round is three double crochet, chain five, three double crochet in the next double crochet, and then single crochet in the next double crochet. And you wanna repeat that all the way around, and on your last repeat, replace the last single crochet with slip stitch to the first single crochet at the beginning of the round to join. Round three begins with a chain seven, which counts as a treble crochet, chain three. We're going to skip the next two stitches and then double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain three, single crochet in the next chain five space, chain three, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain three, Skip the next two stitches and treble crochet in the next single crochet. Treble crochet is yarn over twice. Insert your hook in the specified single crochet. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. You want to repeat from this chain three around. So our repeat is chain three, skip two stitches, double crochet in the next stitch, chain three, single crochet in the next chain five space, chain three, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain three, skip two stitches, and treble crochet in the next single crochet. You want to repeat that all the way around, and on the last repeat, you want to replace the last treble crochet with slip stitch to the fourth chain of the beginning chain seven, and that's the treble crochet equivalent of that chain seven space. Round four begins with a chain three, which counts as your first double crochet, and then we're going to work two double crochets, chain five, three double crochets, all in that same stitch. So it's two doubles, chain five, and three more double crochets in that same stitch. OK, 
Okay, and then single crochet in the next double crochet. In the next single crochet, work three double crochet, chain five, three double crochet. single crochet in the next double crochet. And so our repeat for this round is to work three double crochet, chain five, three double crochet in the next treble crochet, single crochet in the next double crochet, three double crochet, chain five, three double crochet in the next single crochet, and single crochet in the next double crochet. You wanna repeat this all the way around and then slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. Round five begins with slip stitching into each of the next two double crochets and slip stitching into the chain five space, then chain one and single crochet in that same chain five space. Chain three. And then we're going to work a double crochet two together over the next double crochet and then skip the next two double crochets, single crochet, and two double crochets, or skip the next five stitches and work the second leg of the double crochet two together in this double crochet here. So let me show you what I mean. Yarn over your hook, insert your hook in the next double crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to skip the next five stitches, which are double, double, single, double, double, Yarn over your hook, insert your hook in the next double crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Now we have three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops on our hook. That's double crochet two together, and we worked it over this stitch, then skipped five stitches and worked it over this stitch. Chain three, and single crochet in the next chain five space. Our repeat for this round is chain three, double crochet two together over the first and seventh stitches of that seven double seven stitch section so it's the first double skip the next five then the next double chain three and single crochet in the next chain five space you want to repeat that all the way around then replace your last single crochet with a slip stitch to the first single crochet at the beginning of the round to join as you can see at the end of round five, our walls are starting to grow and we're, we're done with the crown and we're done with our increasing rounds and the rest of the rows, the rest of the rounds are gonna be creating the walls of the hat. So you will start to see that it curls up on itself at this point uh, when you're making the baby hat. So then round six starts with a chain three, which counts as a double crochet. And we're going to work two double crochets, chain five, three double crochets in that same stitch. And then we're going to work a single crochet in the double crochet two together stitch from the previous round. Our repeat for this round is three double crochet, chain five, three double crochet in the next single crochet, and then single crochet in the next double crochet two together stitch. And you wanna repeat that all the way around, then slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. You wanna continue working rounds five and six for the desired length of your hat, and then make sure that you end on a round five before starting the edging. Regardless of what size hat you're making, I wanna show you how we're going to be making the edging. And so for the edging, we're going to be working, starting with the chain coming off from the base of the hat, then working back and forth in rows along the side of the hat and joining to the hat every other round until we make it all the way around. So you're changing direction on the brim. So if that didn't make sense in the pattern, I thought showing it here on the, on the video might help. So the edging begins with a chain seven. And we're going to single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then in each chain across. Okay. 
then we're going to slip stitch into the next chain three space on the last round of the hat. Turn our work, and now skipping that chain that we just made, work single crochet through the back loop only in each stitch across for row two. So that should be six single crochets through the back loop only. Then row three begins with a chain one, turn your work, and we'll skip that chain one of course, and work a single crochet through the back loop only in each stitch across, which is six stitches. And then we're going to slip stitch into the next chain three space on the last round of the hat. So you're going to repeat this all the way around, working one row of single crochet through the back loop only this direction, then turning your work and working one single crochet through, through the back loop only in each stitch across this way. And then at the end of the rows that go in this direction, you'll slip stitch into the next chain three space to join this little strip of uh, crochet to the hat as we go. Pretty cute, huh? And then once you make it all the way around, we'll simply seam together the beginning of this row with the last row. For more detailed information on the hat, including all the sizes and all the detailed charts and written instructions, please follow the links in the video description for more information on the book, 24 Crochet Hats, and on the individual pattern, the Abigail Hat. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please leave them for me in the comments. And everything we talked about today is linked in the video description below. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.